Hello, welcome to Jupedia World B. For the end of the lesson series about the Middle Ages, we should say something about the common misconceptions about that period of history, as promised earlier. The most common misconception is that people from the Middle Ages were superstitious, more primitive and less intelligent than people living today in every aspect of their life and that the Middle Ages is a synonym for religious fanaticism and every possible negative phenomena you can think of. The Dark Ages of Humankind History, as it is usually called. However, this is entirely false claim. There are ideological and political reasons behind this story we will not deal with. Nothing, and we repeat, nothing was different in those times except for technology, of course. But the modern technology is not the product of our own knowledge and superiority. It is the product of the whole humankind experience and accumulation of knowledge during the period of a few thousand years. That does not make people living today any better, smarter or more progressive than people who lived several centuries ago. As we have said earlier, this is exactly the reason why the term Middle Ages should not be used, in order to avoid the modern day prejudice about the distant past. Actually, we could say that there was never anything like Middle Ages in the usual sense of that phrase. One of those faults and most often repeated claims about that period is that the Church was prosecuting scientists. Again, this is not true at all. No scientist was ever prosecuted by church because of his beliefs or inventions and discoveries. The only people who were indeed prosecuted by Inquisition and the Roman Catholic Church only, not church or religion in general, were those who opposed the authority of Roman papacy, that is those who were considered enemies of the Roman Church. This did not include scientists only allegedly because of their discoveries that opposed the church views, but it was everyone who tried to oppose the papacy aims. To put it simply, it was not the Roman Catholic Church and religion, it was the Roman popes and their restored medieval Roman Empire trying to conquer the whole world. It was not the religion and science conflict, it never was, but it was the political issue of world conquest throughout the whole history of humankind. The Roman Church even considered Eastern Christians as heretics and schismatics, as one of the enemies and opponents of their self-proclaimed world authority. The other misconception about the Middle Ages, related to the first misconception about religion, is that people of those times believed that Earth was flat. This is simply not true. Moreover, this false idea about the Middle Ages appeared in the 19th century for the first time. Just have a look at all the medieval writings, paintings and statues and you will see that they all knew the world was a sphere, not a flat disk or plane. Here are some of the proofs that people of those times were not ignorant, superstitious and what not. The last thing we shall mention here is the falsification of history. These misinterpretations of historical sources about distant past and about the so-called Middle Ages represent a sort of falsification of world history. The modern ages reach the climax of the falsification of history. Even the history school books are full of false information and ideas that deprive people of useful knowledge and the real truth about the past. This phenomenon, however, was present during the Middle Ages too, as well as during the Ancient Ages. In other words, it was present during the whole human history. One of the most famous and notorious medieval examples is the falsified historical document called the Donation of Constantine. 
It was proven already in the 15th century that it had been falsified by Roman papacy, from political and ideological reasons. The same is true for the so-called Apostle Peter's letter to Frankish king Pepin the Shaw. It was written by Pope Stephen II, but attributed to Apostle Peter himself, who allegedly sent the letter from heavens to King Pepin. The incredible thing here was that, was that Pepin really thought it was sent by Apostle Peter, who died six centuries before Pepin's time. There are also countless other falsified historical documents from those times, as well as many more from later ages and even the modern age. Although the modern way of falsifying history is much more subtle and advanced, usually done through Hollywood movies, media and partly by education system. This was all for the lecture series about the Middle Ages. Now we will talk about the early modern age. The end of the 15th century and the beginning of the 16th century is usually marked as the ending date of the Middle Ages and the starting date of the early modern age, as historians call it. Early modern age is marked as a period from the 15th until the 20th century, that is, until the modern age period. As we have said before, the year 1492 is taken as a starting date, the year of Christopher Columbus reaching the American continent. A man called Christopher Columbus was an Italian explorer and navigator who served the Spanish King Ferdinand II. It is said that European kings needed to reach India and other eastern countries for the purpose of commerce but were unable to do that since the Turks had occupied all South European, North African and Western Asia territories. That is why European kings devised a plan to go round Africa to reach India. The first man to do so was the Portuguese explorer Bartolomeo Diaz, who reached South Africa in 1488, while another explorer called Vasco da Gama reached India in 1497 via the same routes around Africa. In 1492, Columbus wanted to do the same thing for Spanish kings, only sailing across the Atlantic Ocean, believing that he would reach India that way too. They did not know about American continents existing on that ocean path. When his sailing crew reached Central American islands, they thought they reached India. That is why the old native North American tribes were named Indians by Spanish and Columbus. Eventually they realized it was another continent. It was the beginning of the so-called Age of Discovery, as modern historians call it, since the New World was discovered by European colonists, referring to North American, South American and Australian continents. Year after year, and decade after decade, the European kings were sending numerous explorers and sailors to explore, colonize and conquer the new continents. Mostly it was the Spanish and Portuguese kings, but also the French, English and others. Actually, it would be closer to truth to say that all Western European kings, under the protectorate and authority of Roman popes, started, or better to say continued, the conquest of the whole world, spreading their religion and authority. Since 1516, Spain was under the rule of the Holy Roman Empire dynasty, beginning from the reign of Emperor Charles V and his brother Ferdinand I, that is, his son, the famous Holy Roman Emperor of Germany and the Spanish King Philip the second. This means that Spanish and other European conquerors were under the authority of Holy Roman Emperors, that is, the Roman Papas. Most of the newly discovered native tribes and nations in America, Africa and Australia were exterminated or enslaved, tortured 
and sold to slavery by European colonists. The native lands, possessions, food, gold, metals, and everything they had were stolen by those conquerors whose language natives could not understand. It was not just the age of discovery. The truth is that it was the age of intensified world conquests, slavery, and even genocides over non-European populations. Hernán Cortés was the Spanish explorer and military leader who conquered the modern-day Mexico, almost completely destroying the ancient native Aztec Empire at the beginning of the 16th century. While the Spanish military commander Francisco Pizarro is known for conquering the ancient South American Incan Empire, also at the beginning of the 16th century. Vasco Nunes de Balboa was another Spanish conqueror and explorer, who was the first European to reach the Pacific Ocean in 1513 and who conquered parts of Central America. Ferdinand Magellan was the Portuguese explorer who was the first to circumnavigate the whole world for the Spanish and conquered in the name of Spanish and Roman kings many foreign nations territories in which they lived for thousands of years. The circumnavigation took three years to complete, from 1519 to 1522, though Magellan was killed in 1521 by native people on the Philippine Islands. By the way, none of these voyages around the world and circumnavigation of the Earth had anything to do with proving that Earth was not flat, that it was a sweep. Many historians say that it did but it had absolutely nothing to do with that. The reasons were quite different. There were many such explorers and military leaders sent by Spanish and other Western European kings to conquer the discover lands across the oceans. In Spain, they were called conquistadors, which means exactly the conquerors. They were conquering other nations' territories for the next five centuries all the way until the modern age, until the 20th century, though the first three centuries of early modern age could be called the period of the new world colonization. We will continue the story about this new world conquest in our next lesson. Thank you for watching Wikipedia World Video.